the crack in our line. Come with me as I backslide to some place far back in time when rappers were grids, storytelling urban deities making bootstraps of rhyme. Welcome to the other side. Before the female fall from grace into the great crack in our line that put our sisters on their knees, stole our grandmother's wings, spoiled the fruit of our wombs, filled our breasts with poisoned powder before the world found us complicit in the crimes against us, before the crack in our line that opened the nightly news to let the world peek through for a million views upon our shame that let our men see us this way, before we choreographed to the soundtrack of their disdain for the things that we became before we saw them rise upon stages and fall into cages before they made lovers of one another. Slide your mind back even further when pussy was not a punk but power. Womanhood was a valued treasure and the measure of beauty was not in the contours of a drag queen's face. Gracefully, we cross at the ankles, never taking calls after midnight for men who are not our lovers, understanding something does not come from nothing. Come with me if you do not mind to a moment in time when the daughters of the sun know exactly who we are, where God is and where he is not. And that if any man is so inclined to look for God, he can find him in us. With the power to loose a demon with our fingertips, there is no need to fall as prey to pimps and tricks, silenced not by a consensus, but because we exist in the golden place where truth is revealed to us. Here, we are loved by our family for bringing them to life and keeping them alive. We drink from a well of indigenous wisdom to care for them with healing brews of herbs and pot liquor. We are plugged in, downloading answers from the Most High. And the music, and the music, and the music we dance to is not skeeted upon walls like sour milk to be lapped up by mothers and daughters on capital altars. It is in the air between us, on energetic waves of electric conversations our souls are having with each other that do not digress. We move to the pounding rhythm of our man's healthy organs, the throbbing pulse of his manhood, the beat in his chest, of our children's laughter, hips giving birth to happiness, love on our lips, before we lay with our husbands, with our husbands, with our husbands, loving us under the law of God, awed by his masculinity, never giving in to less than we deserve, knowing his worth. We push our man to be stronger, building kings we are proud to serve. Kisses on our mouth before we part. He leaves for honest work with his family's respect in his heart. He always comes home. Before the earth cracked open and our self-respect fell in, we were only bitches in defense of our children and of the lives we built with good men.